In today's class, we'll be taking a look at what are anonymous classes in Java. The topic for today's discussion is what are anonymous classes in Java. First, we'll take an example and we'll understand this example without using an anonymous class. And then we'll convert this example and understand that how it works when we use an anonymous class. So let's consider an example. Let's consider an abstract class here, abstract class employee. This abstract class has got one simple abstract method, public abstract void display. If I want to use this abstract method, if you want to give an implementation for this abstract method, what I should be doing, I should create another class, say class professor extends employee and once when I extend this abstract class what I should do I should give the implementation for this method so let me say I implement this method display like this public void display and uh, inside this we are just going to have simple statement saying I am the professor something like that And how we can use this display method in our code for that we have to go and create an object of type professor. So this is uh, an object of type professor should be created. Let's say professor Satish is equal to new professor. And how can I call this method? I should say satish.display. So this is what we have understood from our previous classes. And uh, if I execute this, what will be the output? I am the professor. So what we understand from this example is just to use this method, we are creating another class, implementing that method inside this class and calling that method. Let us take a scenario wherein we are going to use this professor class only once. So let's say that, uh, let us assume that we are going to use this professor class only once we are not going to use it anywhere else we are just going to use it only once inside our demo class so this is the only place wherein we are going to use this professor class so the question comes what is the question we get is uh, should we create another new class for this purpose we are just going to use this professor class here and this method only once here should we really create a new class and an implementation for that method like this? Is there a way to avoid this? Yes, the answer is anonymous classes. Let me now show you how to use an anonymous class and achieve the same result. So what is an anonymous class? A class without a name and that can be used only once. So let me comment this out. Now I'm going to convert this to be an anonymous class. Let me delete all these things. So this is a demo for how to use an anonymous class. So instead of creating this professor class, I'm just going to use an anonymous class like this. Employee is equal to new employee. And then I'm going to give my anonymous class definition here. So this is my anonymous class. I'm not going to give the professor class name or I'm not going to create a professor uh, class here. I'm just going to create an anonymous class. So I'll give this entire implementation public void display inside this anonymous class. That's it. So what we are skipping here is we're not creating a separate class. And this class has got no name. There is no name called professor here, but this is an anonymous class. This itself is a class having a method definition here, whereas the class name is something that is generated by the compiler. But according to us, we don't have a name for this class. And how we can invoke the method inside this class, I can just go and call e.display. So you call this to be an anonymous class and this anonymous class has no name and therefore it cannot be used anywhere else. 
it is used only once and it is also embedded within another class so this entire anonymous class is within this class called demo class so we can also say this is an anonymous inner or nested class so you can also say this is an inner class right because it is nested within demo class and why we say it's anonymous because it doesn't have a name the name is generated by the compiler and when we go in for such classes when we are going to use the class only once we don't have this class to be reused anywhere else then we can go in for a anonymous class so now let's go and execute this code let's see whether we are getting the same result as we have received it earlier oh we have an error here let's go and check what is that error so we have to close the parenthesis that is the issue okay so let's go and execute this i am the professor so we are able to achieve the same result as we achieved by creating a new class and implementing this method by using an anonymous class the only thing is an anonymous class can be used only once because it cannot be invoked because it doesn't have a name i hope you are all clear with what is an anonymous inner class in java now we'll take a look at how to create an anonymous inner class using an interface so we can also apply the same concept with an interface let me show you how to do that so let's convert this particular class to an interface i'll not say this is a class i'll say this is an interface so this is interface employee and we have an abstract method let's not say this is by default every method inside an interface is by default abstract so we have created an interface suppose if i want to implement this interface what i should do again the same process right the conventional process instead of extends we are going to say implements and once when you implement an interface you have to give the definition we have already given the definition here and uh, we have achieved the definition of an interface that's how you implement an interface it's all well known so now if you go and uh, invoke this method say if you want to use this display method that you have implemented here how you are going to do the same old way you know you are going to go and create an object say professor satish is equal to new professor and you are just going to call satish dot display so it's going to work fine so we have implemented the method inside an interface so i am the professor now we can also use an anonymous class to achieve the same result when you are implementing an interface so let's assume that we are not going to use this professor anywhere else so what we are going to do is we'll use an anonymous class let's comment this one out and uh, let's see how to use an anonymous class nothing changes is the same thing that we have seen earlier employee e is equal to new employee and then you put the entire anonymous class within the parenthesis given here so this is our anonymous class we're not having the name called professor here so what we are going to do is we are going to put the implementation of this class here that's it and how will you invoke this uh, method we'll say e dot display now let's go and run this let's check whether we are achieving the same result yes i am the professor so what we have understood from this exercise is we can use anonymous classes wherein we are going to utilize that class only once and uh, we can achieve that not only by extending another class we can also achieve that for interfaces so that is how anonymous classes work and are used in java I hope you are clear with this. Thank you.